Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today we're talking about some amazing things that iPhones can do that you probably didn't know about. As we all know, iPhones are packed with features, some of them are actually really hidden and a lot of users don't even know about them and don't use them on a daily basis, even though they are pretty useful and can help you do a lot more with your device. So in today's video, I will show you guys more than 10 incredible things that your iPhone can do that you didn't know about. First off, we're talking about the Photos app. Now, this is a feature that you will be able to find only in devices with the Apple intelligence features. So you know that there is the cleanup feature, which is really cool, of course, and most users will actually use it to just remove like different objects on a photo. But did you know that you can actually even use it to hide text? Let's say I want to send this screenshot to someone. I can just go here to the cleanup feature and I can select any text I want and I can actually remove that text from that screenshot. So it's actually really, really useful. So if I have like different text right here, I can just like circle that message if I want to remove it and it works as easy as that. So you can see that text there and all you have to do is just circle around it and in a couple of seconds you will have the text removed. Then of course you can just save it here and send this screenshot any way you want without of course the text that you have just removed from that screenshot. Now here is something that will save you a bit of time. A lot of people will use Siri to set alarms and timers as well. Most likely when you want to set an alarm, you will ask Siri to set an alarm for this time or this time or maybe set a timer for this many minutes or things like that. But there is a very easy way to do that. So if I launch Siri, I want to set let's say an alarm for 7 a.m. All I have to do is just say 7 a.m. And just like that, it's done. It has set the alarm for 7 a.m. Or if I want to set a timer, five minutes. Five minutes. Just like that, it will start the timer for five minutes. How easy is that? So all you have to do is just say the time or the amount of minutes you want to set a timer for and you're good to go. Now here's something really useful for Safari. Whenever you're on a web page and you want to search for something on that web page, like find a word you want, all you have to do is just go to the address bar. So if I'm on this website, I can just tap there and just delete this and then just type whatever I want to search. Even though like right here, you will see it will actually remove the website, but it's not out of the website, it's still there. So if I just type this right here, it will show me this like page right here, these results. And then right here at the bottom, you will see it says on this page. So I can tap right there and there we go. Now we have found the word we wanted to in this website. And you can of course even use these little arrows right there to move between those words that it has found on that website. Now here's a little trick that will help you turn anything you want into a PDF file. Whether that's a photo or maybe even a note, you want to convert it into a PDF file, you can do that with this trick and it's very easy. All I have to do in this case is just tap the share button. You can do the same with a photo as well and just find right here where it says print and now it will take you to the print page and now it has been turned into a PDF file. All you have to do here, of course, you don't have to print it. You can just tap again the share button and save this to files and it will actually save it as a PDF file and you're good to go. While we're on the notes app here, let's take a look at another really useful feature. Whenever you're on a note, you can now tap those three dots right there and then tap right here to see the recent notes. And as you can see, you will have a list of all of your recent notes. You can even clear this menu from here or you can just quickly jump to any of your recent notes directly from here. Another cool thing that you can do with the notes app on iOS 18, of course, if you have the Apple intelligence features is that now you can add an image that you can create with playground simply by tapping on the attachments button. Tap right there and you will have the option here to pretty much attach anything you want at this point from different files to record an audio right here. It will even transcribe it or add image from the image playground. So you can see we'll have the ability to take a photo or add images from your photos library, but you can also tap image playground and you can start creating an image directly from here. Now with the calculator app on iOS 18, you know that we don't have anymore the ability to swipe like this 
to actually delete any numbers but we have now this like delete button which is pretty cool but if you type something you can see we will have to go all the way back like this to actually clear everything you have there but there's a little trick of course that you can do in order to clear this with one tap all you have to do is just don't tap here but tap and hold and in a second it will clear everything now while you're on your home screen you know that when you go to edit your pages you tap and hold somewhere here on the home screen you tap the edit button and then you go to edit pages and from here you will be able to actually rearrange the home screen pages now, there is a very easy and fast way to do that all you have to do while you're on your home screen is tap and hold the page dots right here tap and hold release and it will take you right here where you can just go ahead and edit your home screen pages now here's something really useful go to the shortcuts app on ios 18 and when you have an automation enabled let's say you have an automation that you enable while you're at work or at school most of the time if you have this set up on your device your device will learn your patterns and will basically enable and disable it you can also set it of course to enable and disable automatically what you're when you're on a certain location but if you don't use location services you don't want to have it turned on all the time then you can use another way to actually disable any focus mode and basically do that automatically so you tap on automations right here on the shortcuts app new automation and then just search for time of the day here set the time you want to and then tap right here to run immediately and then tap the next button right here what you need to do is tap on new blank automation and search for focus mode and you will find this right here where it says set focus tap right there and you can just tap here it will show you a list of all the different focus modes that you have created on your device you can go ahead and choose any one of them and of course you have here off or if you want to set it on you can just go ahead and switch on and then right here you can tap right there and set a time when you want to set it off so you can see right here i can type any time i want so i will have this automation that turns it on and off at any time that i set so if you just want to turn it off you just tap right there tap the dumb button and you're good to go now on the app store on ios you know that when you want to go to your app updates it actually requires a bit of work you open the app store you tap right here to your profile to actually go to your updates you can do that quickly with the menu that I, the app store has on ios just tap and hold right here and you will get a button here that says updates you can just tap right there and quickly go to your app updates on the app store now one of the coolest things that you can do on the notes app is scan documents you can actually do that really quickly from here tap on scan document and it will scan documents for you and this is much much better than just taking a picture of a document you will have here the flashlight or even you can go to color grayscale or to the black and white from here so it's actually pretty useful and it does an amazing job way better than the camera of ios will do and last but not least we're on the control center when you want to record the screen of your iphone you can do a little trick here so you will have the screen record button tap and hold on the screen record button and you will get a new button right here that says microphone off if you tap right there then it will enable the microphone of your device so you will be able to actually record the screen but at the same time record the voice from your microphone as well so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did of course subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you on the next one